thank you for making the time for me to do this interview. Heartland, heart, um, 12 seasons. Who would have thought this show, any show, would go 12 seasons? This has become iconic. This has been like one of the, the great Canadian staple points. How does it feel that literally, when you think about this, every episode you do is making history? It's, you know, it's a process that you don't really think about that way. You think about one day at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, you're doing this scene, you're doing this episode, you're doing this season, and then, oh, we're going again, you know? And so we, we take some time to reflect and say, wow, we're a part of something really special that's been going for a really long time and privileged and blessed to be a part of it. And then when it comes time, we focus on this moment and this scene, you know, for this episode. Because that's real. if you get too caught up in that sort of big picture thing, you lose perspective. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And, and then the product isn't as good. So we really work hard to stay focused on what's happening right now and making it the best we can. And we hope fans enjoy it. What is the magic, do you think, for 12 seasons? Uh, I always think it comes down to the horses. I, I agree. I believe... <laughs> Horses mm -hmm. hold magic in their souls. And I think that with Heartland, we're given the opportunity to show that realism, that that life living simply again. And I think a lot of people get caught up in the day-to-day -day hustle and bustle of their lives, and they don't really take the time to sit back and appreciate what's right in front of them. And I think Heartland does that. It focuses on family. It focuses on just standing back and appreciating what you have around you. I love that you said that because one of the questions I was going to say, and you kind of answered it already, was the fact that, you know, in this world today, everything is technology. Everything is your phone, your cell phone. I mean, it's kind of funny. Even here, I was looking at some people. They were all in a row, just sitting there on their phones, you know, blah, blah, blah. This show takes all of that stuff away, yeah. and it goes back to what television is supposed to be about, bringing families together. Bringing families together, we 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 have episodes with you know characters on phones and stuff, sure. but it's not about that. It's not, mm -hmm. and it, it is focused on family and, and bringing people together and creating moments uh, where people go through healing. They go through normal life experiences. Ty and Amy are now parents, and they have a daughter, and she's two, and she's running around, and she's saying things this season, and and creating those moments. I think fans can resonate with that, and and it really brings a fresh look at. What's family life today, you mm -hmm. know? And mm -hmm. what's family life living in a small, confined space above a barn? Yeah, <laughs> well, and I think, like you were saying, so many families are becoming disconnected yeah. because of the world of technology. And technology was built to make us more connected, but in some ways it's doing the exact opposite. And I think that Heartland is something so pure and wholesome that is needed in every household because it really does. It brings families together. They can sit and enjoy it. They can bring up the conversations. They can ask questions and they can just enjoy a simple way of living. Do you ever take a step back sometimes? Because this is the other thing I love about the show, the scenery. Do you ever sometimes take a step back and go, I can't believe I'm here because sometimes when it looks like there's a sunset or something. It's just freaking gorgeous. Oh, it's spectacular. And I think that that's one of the things that causes all of us to come back year after year because mm. we just appreciate our workplace. <laughs> you know, there's not a lot of people that are able to come every day to such a beautiful place mm -hmm. and that's your work environment. You know, a lot of people, they go to those areas to get away from work. They get they get away from the city. They get, And that's where we are every day. And I think that that's one of the things that's so enjoyable for all of us is that's where we get to come to work every day. Okay, so you kind of talked about it, but I'm going to push you for more. What can we expect with this new season? I mean, to come up all these stories every... I and mean, we're not talking about just every season, like you just said earlier, every episode. episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what can we expect this time? So Ty and Amy start working together in a much tighter, closer way, and not just with working together with being parents to a daughter, but working together in their professional lives. So the struggles and the balances of, of them working together, because they've never really done that before. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is what Ty and Amy's journey involves. Um, yeah, did you want to? Well, I was just going to say that along the same lines is that in a television series, you need to have drama to yes. create any type yeah. of uh, enjoyment for the viewers because otherwise it just becomes stale, it becomes boring if everything's perfect. So I believe that this year with Amy and Ty working together in the professional way, it adds conflict in ways that are different from before. It's not necessarily personal conflict anymore. It's conflict with uh, choices in the workplace and choices with how certain matters are handled. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's refreshing. You know, you can't always have two characters that are constantly butting heads but 
as with anyone, when you're working together, you're always going to have a strong passion for what you do, and you're always going to want what you believe to be the best thing for whatever the situation is. So I think we get to see Amy and Ty kind of not butt heads, but but test. They're different worlds. So mm -hmm. like Ty's world of being a vet, Amy's world of being in tune with the horses and really knowing on an intuitive level what's going on or having a sense of what's going on. Those two worlds don't always see eye to eye. Mm -hmm. And so that's where a lot of this sort of tension comes from that's really exciting and, and really different that we've never really played f before in the mm -hmm. show. Does a child bring more tension in or does it relieve tension? A little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to work to, to let go of the tension because it affects the child exactly. that we're acting with. So we have to work really hard. If there's you know production constraints or timeline, we have to really focus on knowing our lines and getting our stuff out of the way mm -hmm. so that we can be totally present with that child and what's going on for them so that it can be real. Because otherwise, you know, it's, you can't force it with a kid. Mm -hmm. You have to be there with whatever they're saying and doing. So it adds a, a, excitement and fun, like Amber was saying uh, earlier today. I cannot wait to see this. You know, this is why I love doing these things, because when you get into the conversation, you know what's going on in the background, and then you get to watch the show, yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. know what you guys yeah, are story. going through. Yeah, yeah. And with bringing a toddler on the show, I mean, she was just a baby when we first introduced her. And I think that it's an, an incredible challenge for us, because Graham and I have been working together yeah. for 12 years. And so we know our acting styles. We know how we work. We, I think we pair really well together on screen. So to add this very unpredictable tiny human into these scenes has brought a whole new freshness to the way that we work as well because like Graham was saying it, you know you you don't know what mood the the twins are going to be in you don't know how they're going to react to certain things that are going on in the scene and it's usually different every time so you you have to really just learn to go with it and and know what's usable and what's not and sometimes we can't go with it because what they're saying or doing doesn't work with the scene mm -hmm. and then like five seconds later it will work with the scene so you can't like tune them out but you can't totally you know so it's like this balance of like does that work for the scene does that not work for the scene <laughs> Before we go, though, just curious, have you guys had a chance? I mean, I know you got busy schedules and stuff. Have you had a chance to look at season one with you with, with yourselves and kind of like go like to go back to go watch. back and watch and then go look where we are now and look what we've done. Look how we look, you know, everything. I think that moment that I do go back and watch some of those episodes will be like like a time transportation device that mm. takes me back mm. to a, a, a totally different moment in my life. And I think for me, you know, Heartland has been all of my 20s, which I think is a, a very strong period of growth for most people. And so when I watch certain episodes or I see certain seasons, I'm like, oh yeah, I was living there and I was doing this. And I was, yeah. it, it kind of takes me back to that moment in my life. So yeah, if I was to go back and watch the first season again, which I, I haven't done, even when I see clips, I go, wow, I'm so young and I, I was so new to everything. So I think that, yeah, it, it kind of, it'll transport me back in time. It's kind of like a yearbook, you know? Yeah. It's like a yearbook, of, you know, yeah. and in some way you look back and you're like, oh yeah, oh my God. There's some episodes I watch and I'm like, I don't, or there was a scene I should say, I saw it the other day and when I was uh, shooting some additional audio recording, mm -hmm. it was a flashback. And I was like, I don't remember shooting that scene. I don't remember being there. Like, I just don't remember it at all. So it's like, there's certain moments that I think, uh, I think I'm going to really enjoy reflecting upon and going, oh yeah, this is, that was, that was that moment or that was this, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I love it. <laughs> I love it. What's cool is you guys are back for season 12. So congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Looking forward to season 13. Da, da, 13. <laughs> uh, that'll be some drama. Congratulations, folks. Thank, thank you so you. much.